at Salt Ponds for almost a month now and it's really been a great location for sailing to other places. We've been able to sail to Fort Monroe, Norfolk, as well as Yorktown, and these have all been quick one-day sails. We're now gonna go to Hampton downtown, and we're also gonna head over to Willoughby Bay, and again, this is a nice one-day sail. One of the things that we really like about Salt Pond Marina is it's got this beautiful long boardwalk, and it's really great for taking the dogs out for walks. And it's nice, there's beautiful marsh grass, and also birds, tons of birds. Dogs are supposed to be on leash, of course, but we apply this a little loosely. We put the dogs on their three leash tether and we kind of let them go by themselves because they're not going to get very far. Mocha likes to drag behind. So what happens is the girls try to pull ahead, but Mocha pulls them behind. So they really don't get very far ahead of us. And then we can just call them back easily and it works out quite well. One of the things we don't like about Salt Ponds Marina is that dogs are not allowed on the two beaches. The Salt Ponds Beach as well as the Buckrow Beach are not accessible to dogs on season. So we haven't been going to those beaches. One of the things that we've been doing instead is we've been walking the dogs up to the Buckrow Beach gazebo area. At the area around Buckrow Beach, the gazebo area, we really enjoy this storm drain art program that they've done. So they've got these nice little paintings that are on the storm drains. And it's really kind of interesting. There's a lot of fish, birds, as well as insects that are native to this area. And it's interesting to see them painted on these storm drains. We'll see Lenox sturgeon, blue herons, mallards, monarch butterflies, a lot of things that are native into the area and that we have to remember to protect. As I mentioned, we're heading to downtown Hampton as well as Willoughby Bay this weekend. So here we go. Our next destination is Hampton, Virginia, which is a nine nautical mile sail from Salt Ponds. We head down the Hampton River, passing the Hampton Yacht Club on our port side. Our plan is to anchor across from the Hampton Public Dock because it has a place for our dinghy. We had really set our heart on this location because it was extremely close to the downtown area, but after two unsuccessful attempts to get our anchor to hold, we decide that we need to pick another location. So we haul up our anchor and head south down the Hampton River. Our plan is to anchor next to the Hampton Yacht Club, where we've seen that there's just enough room for our boat. Anchoring is still relatively new to us, so it takes us a couple attempts before it's outside of the channel enough for us to feel safe. We are anchored near downtown Hampton. Right across from Hampton University. I'll come around here and show you the old buildings. That one looks old. Old yeah. clock tower. Look around right over here. Yeah, we can do that. Piers are right over here. That's where the dinghy dock is. Dinghy area. Ah, uh, okay. As dinghy I said, area. dinghy area. So, so why do the dogs have the makeshift leashes? Because Jim pulled a husband. What was pulling a husband? What does that mean? I left my day pack. <laughs> With the dog's leashes in them. I did everything. Luckily, my wife's a patient's for a painter leash. <laughs> she carries dog bags with her everywhere. She carries dog bags. There. Uh, <laughs> so this is the Hampton Carousel, which is closed. It was built in 1920, and it said it was at Buckrow Beach is where it was originally located, but they moved it to here. It must be all... It's inside location. Wood. All the horses must be fully wooden. Yeah, they looks like it. We came to these shores with the promise of a new life and forged a land of freedom and opportunity. Marker 20. It's marker 20 that's right across the way. Where we tried to anchor but it wouldn't hold. So it looks like goodies is open. Yep. And poor girls. Poor girls. Poor. Yeah, as in pouring. Pouring. Full Island Brew. What you drinking there, mister? The stout beer that my wife bought me wants to get me drunk in the middle of the day on a Thursday. What am I drinking? A fruity 
alcohol. The berry cider. Oh, cider, sorry. It's not a beer. It doesn't count. So does that mean that there's berry, apple, and alcohol in it? Probably, yes. Okay. Well, the alcohol is made probably from the apple fermenting. The berry fermenting. I think the berry is probably added later. Is it good? I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> okay, try it. Tell me. Then answers where the crab goes when no one's buying crab stuff. <laughs> they put it on pretzels. They put it on pretzels. You were so worried about where all these crabs were like being used with it. I was. I was harvested wondering. by all the crabbers. No one was eating it. I'm <laughs> single-handedly taking care of all the crabs. Thank you. negative things about being on anchor is that it's hard to get the dogs exercise. There are days when we just can't get them onto land, so we gotta find fun things for them to do. Otherwise they get bored. And when they get bored, they have a tendency to get into trouble. So I've been doing a lot of research trying to find fun games. And one of the things I found are these obstacle courses. So I've set up an assorted object obstacle course. And why I call that is because being on a boat, you don't have a lot of stuff. So I kind of had to mix and match and throw things together. So it looks a little crazy. Since we have three dogs, I'm setting this up competition style and it's going to be timed. And not only is it going to be timed, but we're going to have penalties, a one second penalty for every object that they knock over. And at the end, we're going to have a winner. So it should be fun, but we're going to post it on Friday. So make sure to watch that as well. And if you have any ideas for fun obstacles or other challenges that we can do with our dogs, make sure to put it in the comments below. From our anchorage in Hampton, Virginia, we motor five nautical miles to Willoughby Bay. We are anchored at Willoughby Bay. City of Norfolk. After six. Sweetie. What's the herd trying? I'll show you what the herd trying is. Stop. 
<laughs> you just ate like an hour ago <laughs> and she's like, I want more. Gotta have more. Okay. Oh. oh no! I didn't say okay to that. Good try, though. No. <laughs> that didn't work very well. <laughs> Nuala, the ever gluttonous one. I glutton. I glutton. Oh. We enjoy a lovely sunset on our last evening before leaving Willoughby Bay. So, pups, what'd you think of this episode? What's that? Three paws up! So if you're enjoying this episode, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel.